right, it is about that time waiting for he can to post and let's check it. Ah, furry Hitsugaya is getting his freaking what do you call it? Okay. Dude, freaking furry oh, <laughs> furry Toshiro is actually coming back. That's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, the art on this looks absolutely sick. Let's check out the Momo. So it's, oh, but it's a two character banner mid month, bro. Oh, dude, I feel like if they did this as like an end of the month, you see, oh, <clears throat> this is my issue with mid month. If K Lab doesn't give these guys havoc and they're an SP based character, they end up being mid, bro. Gotta hit it up on auto. But all right, Furry Hitsugaya, as well as Momo. These are definitely Halloween. This is a Halloween banner, 100%. All right, so we do have the stats and the skills, fortunately, thanks to Hiken posted them. Uh, all right, let's just get right into it, right? Nitty gritty. Speed Toshiro, as well as a Heart Momo. Momo, I believe, was only a four star. So this is getting a five star version, which is pretty cool. Going into the other featured five star characters, unfortunately, it doesn't look like any other Halloween characters are coming out over here. But we do have Spirit Society, Ichigo, Spirit Society, Chad. In my opinion, neither of these characters are really all that great anymore. I do like Orihime still for epic raids, but there's just better options, in my opinion. Uh, and, and that's about it. Like, I'll, I'll be real with you. The Gin, underwhelming. Rangaku, underwhelming. Aizen, good for guild quest. Uh, Renji, I honestly don't even know what this Renji does, uh, to be honest. I only remember the Ichigo is like a droplet whore. And um, yeah, so Toshiro and then Momo. Let's just get right into it. We'll start with Momo just because I, I clicked that first. She's going to be a Heart Soul Reaper with a Stern Reader Killer. Okay. So I guess that this is for. Is this a Spotter Killer then? No, Quincy Killer. Okay, cool. Interesting. I feel like these Stern Ritter or Quincy Killers, bro, they really need dual killers in order to, in my opinion, do well. I do see Havoc 20% on the Toshiro, so I'm actually kind of excited about that. I don't see Havoc here, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, going into it, Soul Trait damage inflicted at full stam at 30% for Heart, which is pretty good, considering that Heart has a ton of great units. Sprinter plus one, Medic, so Team Healer, read all affiliation, dodge. All right, so she has some utility outside of like just normal, just playing the game. That's good, always good, in my opinion. We have Mind Links Out Potions plus 10. Mind Droplet Drop plus 30%, so there's farming attributes to this character, which is good. Multi Barrier plus 2. And if she has the heal on the same strong attack as her barrier, that's going to be pretty cool. I, 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 don't, I, I doubt Caleb would do like a barrier unit second strong attack and then a heal third strong attack like Retsu, but I mean... Nah, I don't think Caleb would do that. <laughs> I don't think Caleb would do that. Uh, Frenzy plus one, Devastation of 40%. Guard Break. Uh, guard, guard Break's always good on, on an SP based unit, I suppose. Uh, hard Attribute Character Strong Attack Damage plus 20%. And that's going to go to the team party. That's pretty good. Not catch this later on and bring it up. But I do want to make sure that I note damage to enemies not afflicted by 100% when they're not afflicted by a status element is really, really good for this character because you have the Frenzy plus one, you have the um, damage inflicted at full stam, 55% uh, when you count the soul trade along with any T15, T20 skills. You have the heart attribute character strong attack damage plus 20%. And then on top of that, you'll calculate a times two damage multiplier when you have that damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment. When you calculate everything in here, honestly, it's kind of like you're getting Frenzy plus five levels of damage the only problem that i see is just no havoc i i feel like you need havoc to be great i don't think you need havoc to be good but it definitely helps uh mine links out potions plus 10 mine droplet drop 30 percent. she's gonna be good in content like epic raids which is good yeah i mean that's that's pretty much all i see for her i don't really see her being that useful like elsewhere to be honest outside of from like maybe farming scrolls with the read all affiliation dodge for like uh, focus uh, medium and uh, small scrolls but eh, i mean eh, it is what it is it's a mid-month i'm not tripping too much i'd like to see the banner format we'll we'll get that in about like four minutes uh, going into toshiro quincy killer i do not like that i'll be real with you uh quincy i still i feel like this is still a very niche killer uh just in general uh, it, with the Havoc, it makes me think that he's going to be a guild quest unit because we desperately need better Quincy, Stern Ritter, Spotter Killers, Captain Killers, um, Human Killers. Like, we need a lot of these things in order to really 
go for very hard GQ. The problem with very hard GQ is even getting a character one out of five, unless it has something like crazy support wise, like Macy with her, uh, with uh, just being a really good freaking nuker, and then the Orihime with her shared complete status immunity. You kind of need better options and you don't really have that many great options for this one uh for the current gq actually no it's thursday so we got the new gq oh my goodness um y yesterday was a crazy day for me i apologize i should have streamed uh going into him his attacks you will see here that we has freeze do you have status elements yeah no you don't have any status elements that's that's weird Oh, damage to enemies not afflicted by ailment plus 100%. I cannot believe that I like hovered over that and just missed it completely. Frenzy plus one and then plus 100% damage. That's really good. That means that she's getting 400% more damage because you get the frenzy plus one and then you double the damage. So it's like frenzy plus three levels of damage. That's good. Um, no havoc. Still eh, a little bit iffy about it, but hey, it is what it is. My only real issue is that she competes with ichigo in terms of that in terms of like not dealing status ailments but <laughs> ichigo also has uh what's the word i'm looking for like sprinter long stride i'm like it is what it is all right so going into the the toshiro we have havoc 20 percent, which is really good we have damage inflicted at full stam 45 percent for the innate skills strong attack recharges his soul trait weakened immunity so that's going to be good for gq Oh, killer effect plus 30%, plus 50% in GQ. Range damage 10%, 30% in GQ. So he's going to be a GQ unit. Status ailment switch pressure boost 80%. Then we have frenzy plus one. I kind of wish that he had increased status ailment chance because then when you like pop a strong attack, you have a very high likelihood that you'll pop your status ailment switch pressure boost. Debilitator plus five seconds. Damage to frozen enemies 40% is awesome. Guard break and hit hidden enemies. Sprinter plus one, Devastation 40%. So let's just break this down real quick, right? We have Havoc 20%. Uh, we have Weakened Immunity. We have Debilitator plus five seconds for the Freeze, along with damage to Frozen Enemies 40%. That's going to be awesome when you pop your Soul Bomb in order to push a specific boss, maybe the fourth or fifth boss for a guild quest. Sprinter plus one, we have Berserker 40%, Frenzy plus one, the damage to frozen enemies if the enemies are hit with that status ailment spiritual pressure boost 80 percent damage inflicted at full stam 45 percent killer effect up range damage up guard break plus hit hidden enemies is nice for regular pve content and the fact that this character got the havoc i love that i i think that this character is going to actually be really really fun to play i want to see what these characters actually do so let me see if i can get um the link to actually the gameplay uh, we have the banner format. It is going to be the three-step banner, one star, one feature, five-star character guaranteed. I love this banner format. Um, for Toshiro being as good as he is, based on what I see here, uh, we have the character info dump. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's pull up the text chat. Uh, shout out to Heken for actually getting this up, which is really nice. Let me actually download Momos while I'm at it. Uh, we'll open that too. Boom, boom. Okay, so let's just go into the Toshiro over here. We should have the actual breakdown here. So normal attack similarity is going to be the same as Noel and Nini, the new ones that came out. So range collision, right? Uh, we have the attack number one. Charge level one, part one, range, normal attack, info, push back, 250, attack, charge level two, range. This is a weird looking thing. Oh, wait, never mind. This is the attack hits. Okay, let's go to strong attack one similarity. So I already see the power Ichigo. Strong attack one similarity, power Ichigo. This is going to be the 18% magnification for strong attack. Not very good for damage dealing, pretty good for crowd control, and pretty good for proccing the status ailment switch pressure boost. I'm not going to knock him for that because he is a GQ unit, so at the very least he gets the damage modifiers that I think he needs in order to make this, this strong attack work. And since you do need a good bit of crowd control, this is really nice. Uh, strong attack 2 similarity, Bambietta Bastard Bean. This strong attack is really 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 good to see here and considering that he has that freeze uh potential too if the enemy gets frozen 
mainly the boss and you pop off this second strong attack and you can guarantee that you're not going to get hit with the status element which he has weakened immunity so it looks like he's going to be able to protect himself there you can pop this off and deal a ton of damage on the enemy and since this character also has that pushback means that the enemy should not be killing your allies while they're getting bombarded right so that's pretty cool to see and then his third strong attack yachiru unahana thousand year blood war 2023 virgin version and this is going to be aoe radius 975 when you see 975 here uh he can is not taking into account the havoc 20 percent. so this is going to be an 1170 i think oh, let me 975 times 1.2 yeah an 1170 aoe around around you with some back range but mainly just full frontal all right so i don't catch this until the actual gameplay but the here it says aoe radius 975 distance 625 that aoe distance 625 is the trap because this is actually a trap mechanic with his freeze which i think is freaking awesome to proc his spiritual pressure boost and this with havoc also becomes 750 aoe radius for the uh, third strong attack with a cooldown of 30 seconds, which is kind of unfortunate. I noticed that in the showcase that they do, he has like a 19 second cooldown. So I believe, uh, based on what they're showing me, is that it would be a 24 seconds. But unfortunately, it is a 30 second cooldown. So you do need to run a bunch of strong attack recharge. But I think that he will be pretty good at nuking in front. That's a really good third strong attack to have for content like guild quest so this is 100 percent a guild quest character but he also has a lot of good potential for regular content too so even though he does have like all the gq stuff i think that him having the frenzy plus one berserker 40 percent full stamina damage boost 45 percent when you get him a t15 or t20 and then you also have the range damage plus 10 percent and then the status element spiritual pressure boost he's going to be hitting pretty good I think my only concern with this character is if you don't proc his spiritual pressure boost, he's going to be kind of shit out of luck. I'll be real with you. Like, like he's, it's going to be kind of annoying, but I don't think it's going to be bad. Um, I don't think he's going to be bad at all. I think he's going to be actually pretty good. Oh, Abyssal Euphine stuff. Okay, cool. I got to check that out later. Uh, so let's see if they have the gameplay. Usually they do have the gameplay. 6% uh, chance. I already want to do three steps on this banner. I'm not going to lie. They look like they're going to be pretty cool. I like the aesthetic of the Halloween characters too. And I've always liked uh, Furry Toshiro's design. I just didn't like... Um, I just don't... I'm just not a furry, bro. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Uh, let's see here. Can, can we get it actually full screen? Thank you. Without further ado... Alright, so shout out to my boy Oliver. first character in this summons is Momo. Alright, let's see what we got here. Is a heart attribute character with now, she does have that Stern Ritter killer. Like, I, I really wish they had dual killers, man. Because, like, even though she has Stern Ritter killer without Havoc, I don't really see her performing all that well in GQ. There's the heal barrier on that second strong attack, so that's always good to see. Mind links not potions, mind droplet drop. I kind of wish she had super potions too, but can be useful in inheritance zones and I think lunge first strong attack. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't go over her stuff, right? Full screen third strong attack, lunge. Yeah, that's a 475 first strong attack. It's a pretty basic strong attack, it's not bad. I want to know the second strong attack. That's what I want. I, I care about the second, and they're not even using it. She can also support a teammate as a second strong attack both heals and provides a barrier. This strong attack is that a vacuum pushback? Multi barrier plus two and her innate skill medic, which allows healing skills to affect more team members. Next, let's look more closely at her attacks. Uh, let me actually pull it up her her stuff here. I, I want to see what her second strong attack is. I, I care more about that like the first strong attack you'll see here 475 aoe radius yeah i already knew that that, that was obvious uh just based on how it looked uh, attack two similarity ninny spankle burn the witch biakia 2023 this is an aoe radius 800 okay so it, it's pretty much just a basic aoe um mag 120 weight pushback 350 call down cool down 40 seconds Pretty long cooldown, but that's what you you get when you get a barrier slash heal. Normal attacks are a string of four melee attacks. It's a nice, it's a cute nad string. I'm not gonna lie, considering she has like the cat ears. 
So we talked about the lunge. And that's going to be the 800. So he says uh, the AoE surrounds the character. I'll tell you what, like, this second strong attack is going to hit right here. And it's going to hit around the character, but it's going to mainly go all the way up. So I want to say, like, if she was standing, like, right here, this 800 AoE would go around her, and it would hit roughly around here. When you get the 9... No, no, no. It would be, like, around here. When you get the, the Havoc 20%, this 960 goes up to, like, here. And then you get, like, a lot of freaking AoE radius there. And I think that that would have been a lot better. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. Boom, boom. You actually can see a good bit of the radius. There's definitely some hidden radius back here, though. The second strong attack. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this is a better, better look. I don't know if the, if it's gonna hit back here though. It, it, obviously, it hits over here, and you can see the back range, right? Ah, oh, dude. If she had havoc, she'd be so good. I don't care too much for lunges. I, I think I've been clear on that uh, across my videos. But like with havoc, like the second strong attack would be goaded. The set, the third strong attack would be good. And and I personally love multi barrier units. I really do. I feel like they provide a ton of support. Oh my god, that looks so cursed. Those hands are some of the most cursed hands I've ever seen. What is this, bro? What is this hand? This is the ugly. Look at her fingers, bro. Like, yo, come on, Kayla. Y'all couldn't have given her like paws or something. Like, oh, it looks so ugly. There is no way. There's there's no way some someone goes, yeah, this looks good, bro. Like and that wraps it up for It's 2023, man. <laughs> and then draw some lines. Like put some lines on that finger. It's an animation, right? Like Toshiro is a speed attribute character with Quincy Killer. <sighs> Alright, so 18% magnification, first strong attack. He is a ranged, strong attack type character. Oh, the third strong attack's a debuff mechanic. I didn't even look at that. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it, that's not a debuff, that's a trap mechanic, so you're pretty mu Oh, you're guaranteed to get the freeze off, and you're guaranteed to get your spiritual pressure. For a GQ unit, this is actually legit, really good, especially considering that you get the full effect of your freeze, but you get the damage as if they're pretty much um, weakened as well. Because when you get your freeze off, you also get access to the damage to frozen enemies 40%. And if you're giving your side units damage to freeze enemies 20%, they're also getting a kickback from that, along with very, very good, uh, what is it called, stability in terms of they don't, you don't have to worry about your allies getting their cheeks clapped. That's good. I like that, actually. I'm not going to lie. I think that Mayuri might actually be pretty good now, too. I, I'm interested to see how Mayuri does with his trap mechanic. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Nah, we've already gone over his skills. Let's just get right into it. Oh, dude, that, that trap looks cool, man. And it's an 1170, an 1170 AoE. Like, like, you could see the range on this attack. Like, he killed the enemies all the way back here, bro. And if you paid attention to where he was standing, like, he was back here. Boom, that's really good. And then I believe that the AoE is either 630, I think it's 630, it could be 960, I'm, I'm always a bit iffy on the traps. But there's like four ticks. It, it, it'll wear off in about like three seconds, right? Okay, there you go. Yeah, so that, that's the only thing that I don't like about the trap mechanic. It doesn't last very long, it lasts like four or five seconds. Like, you'll see here, as soon as he pops it off... Oh no, it lasts like six seconds, hold up. As soon as he pops it off, you see the 19 seconds. 19 seconds. It's a 24 second cooldown. That's for, actually not bad at all. 19 seconds. 6 seconds. 7 seconds. Wait, 6 seconds. 7 seconds. 8 seconds. Oh, it lasts like around 7 to 8 seconds. That's actually not bad. That second strong attack is going to be the Bambietta's attack. Where you can just hold, oh, well, excuse me, where he's just gonna blast, but you can uh, flash step to get out of it early. Yeah, that that's gonna be so good in guild quest, to be honest. 
with that cooldown, it's, I think it's going to be really good. Eighteen percent mana vacation first, though. But you're guaranteed the freeze, bro. If they gave him like a better first strong, if they gave him the forty percent, I feel like that would actually, unironically, been really, really good for him. Maybe not. Maybe not for GQ. Three K beam would be good for GQ though. This attack sets a status ailment trap after dealing damage around the character. Four ticks on the freeze. Finally, a special move. Dayurufu Hyorimaru. That looks cool. <laughs> and that wraps it up for Toshiro. And those were the character intros for the Halloween Crown Summit Monster. I'm not gonna lie, they look good. Aside from Momo's like special animation having like those weird hands, bro, Caleb shouldn't have did that. But either way, I, I think the Toshiro looks excellent. I, I really do. For a mid-month character, I think he's pretty cracked. I, my only problem with him is just his Quincy killer, but he's designed for Quincy GQ, which they just recently separated. So like you have a valid reason to like want him. My only con like issue is I wish that they gave him two killers, because then you have even more of a valid reason like people are coming off of anniversary like burning for like let's just look at the the banners that we've gotten recently right for for we got the anniversary banners we gotten multiple thousand year blood war banners it, it's just like i feel like it's a a lot and i don't think Caleb is like understanding how much orb usage we've been like popping off and i get they they want us to burn orbs so that we, we have to buy it but like damn Caleb, relax bro we had Ichigo White, the first Thousand Year Blood War anniversary banner that's premium pool. We had the Retsu Yamamoto Chojiro uh, banner. Let's be real here. Everyone wanted Retsu. And then on top of that, we ended up getting the swimsuit banners, which we haven't gotten swimsuit dudes in a long time. So, like, I, I still think I, th I still think Caleb fucked up by making it a mid-month banner. I feel like if they gave them the power of an end of the month, I think they... They would have sold better but then we have bambietta ebon and then six anniversary aizen 2.0 with kilge followed with an okiora for mid-month and then for end of the month we ended up getting burn the witch halloween and now we're getting a good mid-month with uh toshiro i think my i i wish that this character this banner had three characters but it's a mid-month i get it and then on top of that, at the very least, the banner format, you're guaranteed a uh, featured character on step three, guaranteed a banner on step 10. And I think that that's going to go a long way, especially for Toshiro fans. But either way, I am excited for this banner. I think it's really, really cool. But I'm going to leave it at that. You guys grind on, catch up, him up, stay blessed, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to keep watching this cringe-ass show, Love is Blind, because um, I don't know how I feel about this season, bro. It's, it's, it's not it for me to note. <laughs>